What's the good word, y'all? Welcome to the New York Jets Syndicate channel. It's your boy DKB here. So, former Patriots wide receiver Julian Edelman, he was on a, a Fox NFL kickoff show this Sunday. He was speaking about uh, the AFC East, essentially, right? Kind of giving his thoughts about where the Patriots are at, all of that good stuff. The interesting piece was that we kind of got a preview into where he thinks the AFC East division uh, is going to end up being. A lot of us expect that the Patriots are going to be the last team in that division. But, you know, if Sunday was any indication uh, of what Bill Belichick has in mind, that may not be the case. And for what it's worth, the AFC East, I still think, is the, if not one of the hardest divisions uh, in the NFL this year. Just because you can never count Bill Belichick out, we know that we have Aaron Rodgers, uh, and then you're still talking about the Buffalo Bills who have been challenging for the Super Bowl uh, for some time now, and then of course the Dolphins who look like they can decimate anybody at any given time uh, and, and generally win shootouts if it comes to that. So. You know, seeing where Julian Edelman had us, I couldn't get the full ranking down from the clips that I've seen, but um, he he actually has the Jets as the fourth place. Now, hearing it originally, I was, uh, you know, a little ticked off, right? Kind of feeling like there was some Homer commentation here, um, him being a former Patriots fan. Of course, he wouldn't put his team in the finals, but for what it's worth uh, from an objective standpoint, Thinking about this being the hardest division that there is in the NFL, it's very feasible that any of the teams in that division could end up being last. You could see Buffalo Bills go from first to worst. You could see the Jets continue to live at the bottom of the cellar. Uh, if things fall off the rails with Tua again with an injury, you can see things going downhill very quickly as well. And of course, for what we all would assume is the least talented team, and uh, the Patriots, it's easy to give them a spot there as well. So uh, for what it's worth, I'm letting him pass a little bit, but uh, it was a little superficial, right? He basically said, even with Aaron Rodgers coming into town, the New York Jets should be managing expectations. And then there were some comments about, you know, the, uh, the offensive line for us. Right now, we're living at the tackle position with an elder statesman in Dwayne Brown uh, entering his 17th or 18th season in the NFL, finally having two good arms. Uh, but he hasn't been elite in some time. Above average should be fine enough for us, though. But of course, that recent injury history scares you, uh, especially with him just coming back, you know, a week or two before the season and getting some legit practice time. You have the injury prone uh, glass body Makai Becton, even though he's a behemoth of a human, we haven't been able to really see him uh, uh, put that to good use on the field since his rookie season. So at any point, you can worry about him coming out. Um, I know for me personally, a, a struggle of mine is to see if he even actually can finish a game with us right now. Um, then you have Lakin Tomlinson, who should have been playing at a Pro Bowl level, but he's been absolutely useless for this New York Jets team recently and has looked like one of the worst guards, worst starting guards um, in the NFL so far. Connor McGovern is technically your best player at the moment in terms of consistency and knowing what you're going to get at the center position, but he doesn't wow you whatsoever. Um, and then at right guard, you have the star of the group in Elijah Vera Tucker, who we all think will have an all pro season as long as he stays on the field this year. So there's uh, some some very steep mountains for the New York Jets in terms of uh, you know the highs, but the valleys that we may have to walk through are very, very, very low. So uh, overall, we have improved the depth. Um, the starting five is gonna be our best group in some time, um, but there is cause for concern. Can that derail our season, much like any other team? Absolutely 100%. Um, I wouldn't even say this is close to being one of the best offensive lines that Aaron Rodgers has had, but having him should mitigate a lot of the issues that we would come across anyway. So. We'll just have to kind of see what happens first. Can Aaron Rodgers help save this offensive line? Or will the offensive line help put Aaron Rodgers on his back uh, to give us a season? And uh, ultimately, yeah, Jets last, Patriots third. I don't know who's first and second for him. But uh, 
he did mention he thinks Super Bowl is out of the picture for the New York Jets. Uh, if we make the playoffs, he deems that as a successful season for us. So we'll have to see how that pans out. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are, and I'll catch you again. Peace.